Are you sure? Okay, so let me ask you something. Do you trust science? Do you trust science? Can I try this over your head? Over your head? But you trust science, don't you? <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't trust anyone. You don't trust anyone. <laughs> okay, so that's right over my head? Yeah. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, I have a CSD. Yeah. Okay, so why not? So I'll go for one, two, three. Yes, of course it will always work. Now, why? It's because still there is air inside. Even if it was the smallest bubble ever, it will always work. Now, what's happening here is whenever I flip the glass, some of the water came out. That means inside the air has more space so it will spread out. Now inside we have low pressure, outside we had high pressure. We have high pressure. Now all the air around us is trying to go inside, pushing the lid up. And look, this is not sticky at all. I can, I can spin it. Okay, now. Now before I go to the second experiment, guys, I'll just let you know something about my brother, that I have the most annoying brother. <laughs> He's killing me. Why? Because I like to drink cold water. So whenever I buy a bottle of water, I put it in the fridge. Ten minutes. Woof, it's not there. He will just take it and drink it. Why would he do that? So I decided to take with me this bottle and put it in the fridge. Whenever he opens it, he wants to drink water. <laughs> now what happens? He throws it. Everything is normal. Now why? It's because there's four holes here. And inside we have low pressure. Outside we have high pressure. Now the air around us is trying to go in, but there is no way. Now the holes, they're blocked with water. And from up, it's blocked with the lid. So whenever you release the lid, the air is going in. Now, I have the last experiment to show you guys. And before I show you this trick, I want to have a promise from you that you won't do it alone. If you want to do it, you'll do it with your parents. Do we have a deal? Yes. I cannot hear you. Okay, now, I have here this glass, now, and I have this egg. You can do that with a real egg, but this is a rubber egg. If I want to put the egg inside, it's not easy to push it in, because also inside there is air trap, and the egg is bigger than the, the, the plug. Yeah. Now, how can I put the egg inside really easy? So I was like, why I don't use science? I will let science do my job. So, if I want to do that, I'll take a piece of tissue. Burn it. Burn it, creating inside low pressure. So basically, I'm burning some of the air inside. Now let me try this. Let's see what will happen. How easy is that? That was really easy, right? Now, if I wanted to try to take it out, that won't be easy. And that's how we do it. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day.